Hello, this is Jack Jackson. This is going to be our first of a series of several lectures that we'll have uh, in a video format in uh, for, for trigonometry. Um, trigonometry is a branch of geometry, and geometry literally means earth measure. Geo is Greek for earth, and the meter or metry, that's the uh, to measure. So geometry is the study of measuring things on the earth. At least that's what the word means. And of course you know that as a study of things such as lines and planes and, and uh, points, lines, planes, angles, and so forth. Trigonometry literally means trigon measure, or trigon is just another name for a triangle. So ultimately trigonometry at its core is just all about measuring triangles. At least that's what's the the basic uh, part of it. So we're going to be able to go back and see everything in uh, trigonometry really relating somehow back to a triangle or at least in its basis it has its basis in triangles. There are two basic parts of uh, trigonometry and two main reasons why we study it. One is to study what we call indirect measurement problems and indirect measurement problems, what we're talking about there is um, for example, you are uh, want to know how tall the bell tower is, but you really don't want to climb it up, climb up there. Make some other measurements, use those to, to compute the height of the bell tower. Uh, or for example, you want to know how far it is across a river but you really don't want to swim across there with a tape measure. You can use trigonometry to measure and find those kinds of things. The other type is periodic behavior problems, things that come in cycles. And so we'll see that trigonometry, even though it starts with dealing with measurements in the side of a triangle, will eventually generalize this and you'll see that trigonometry is also related a lot to circles which have have a cycle to them and waves so anything that can be measured with waves or in cycles like light waves radio waves sound waves uh, for example or other things that follow cycles such as the cycle of the night and day that we have for the earth rotating on its axis cycle of the seasons from the earth revolving around uh, the sun so, and other many, many, many other things that follow cycles. So let's start here with some really basic geometry introductions. So a point we want to think of as just a location in, um, in space, okay? And so there we have a point. Uh, when we put a little dot there to represent a point, really the dot is already a... a sort of a misrepresentation of the point because the point has no size uh, and doesn't take up any space. There's no, no thickness or size to it at all. It's simply a location. Uh, given any two points, there's exactly one line that goes through those two points. And so a line can be represented like this. It goes on forever in, in both directions. It has infinitely many points on that, but it is a straight line. We have parts of a line one is called a line segment. Now a line segment has infinitely many points. Think of it, there's one halfway in between here and there's one halfway between those two and so on and so forth. So there are infinitely many points on that line, but it has a finite length. You could measure it with a, with a ruler. Uh, so that's a line segment. Let me, uh, so this appears a line. This is a line segment. And we could also have over here what we call a ray. Our ray is just a half line that goes on like this. So notice that it goes on forever in one direction. We indicate this with an arrow on the end here, but it has an end point here. Okay, so it's it's basically just half of a line. Notice that I'm using the program called Geometry Sketchpad to uh, construct and illustrate some of these things. Now, another really basic thing for us in geometry is an angle. Now, an angle is the union of two rays with a common endpoint. The union of two rays with a 
common endpoint uh, called the vertex. So the vertex of the angle. So this is an angle here. This is the vertex right here. Now one way we name angles is by naming points on them. And so this would be called angle ABC or angle CBA. As a physical angle, as a set of points, it doesn't matter which way we name this. If there's no confusion about it, we'll call it angle, just angle B. However, if there's more than one angle at point B, then we can't just call it angle B. We have to be more uh, explicit about that. And so this is angle ABC or angle uh, CBA. Now, as a set of points, these are the same, uh, this, is, this is just a set of points here, and we can think of an angle that way. But we often want to think of an angle not as a set of points, but as a amount of rotation. So we start with the initial ray here, BC, and we rotate around. And so that amount of rotation is what we want to think of as the angle. So if we rotate this way in a counterclockwise way, we're going to call that a positive rotation. But if we rotate this way in the clockwise rotation we're going to call that a negative rotation. So in this course we're mostly going to be thinking about angles as um, as rotational angles. Now we also are going to be talking about triangles quite a bit. So a triangle is the union of you take any three points that are not in a straight line and make the three line segments with those endpoints and you have a triangle. So this we can name it by its endpoint, uh, its vertices, um, DEF. So this is triangle DEF or EFD or, or FED, any order. Now if they're in the straight line, it doesn't make a triangle. But anywhere we would put these like this, notice that this makes a triangle. Notice the triangle only includes the stuff that's the blue lines, including the red uh, endpoints there. It does not include the, the, the stuff in here. This is the interior of the triangle. This is not part of the triangle itself. The white part out here is the exterior of the triangle. This uh, part in here is the interior. But the triangle itself, we'll make it all red here, is those red endpoints and this, those line segments. So only the red is the actual triangle. The other part in here is the interior part out here is the exterior of the triangle. Okay, so um, there's our first introduction to some basic uh, geometric figures. We also can talk about other, in general when we have uh, line segments connected up like this, whoops, missed there. So it goes around here and made up of line segments and it starts and stops where it ended and it doesn't cross over like this so you can trace all the way around it and never intersect yourself except when you get back to where you started this is called a polygon if it's got four sides it's called a quadrilateral three sides a triangle uh, I think we'll stop there and we'll come back with our next lecture in a bit